Howdy YouTube. Hey, so uh, today this video that I'm making is I wanted to tell you something about when Old Faithful erupts recently. Now it doesn't happen every single time Old Faithful erupts, but I noticed that over here, and I'll show you this is an example. I'll show you the uh, some of the footage after I show you this right here, but I just want to show you guys this one thing. See how Old Faithful is erupting and the wind is heading this way? This should not be steaming right here. See how dark it is? That is going, the wind's blowing this way. So none of the steam or anything landed over here. See how it's spreading? Look, let's go back one more time to the 19 minute mark. Watch, watch it spread to these trees. You see how it spreads like that? You see that right there? I'm following it with my cursor right there. You see how it spreads? And then wait, it should pan over and then look right here. Watch right there. It'll start to steam as well. So it's not just fire whole river, but see, look how much that's steaming. It should not be steaming that much, especially right here. Look, it's steaming right here. That's a crack. The snow won't even stick right there. It's so hot. So I don't know what's really going on because that looks like it's mostly coming from the river, but it's also coming from the land too. Because look at over here, right here. There's not supposed to be any geysers or anything right there. And the wind was blowing this way. And look how dark this is. And it's not being, a, this is not a shadow. And this does not happen every Old Faithful eruption, but every time that this does occur, it's always after an Old Faithful eruption, if you know what I mean. So I just want to point you guys out to this. So in the coming clips, I want you to focus your attention to over here, right behind Split Cone Geyser and right in front of these trees, and right here. I'm going to be showing some Old Faithful eruptions and... Uh, and how this occurs. I don't know what it is. Is it the river boiling? Because I thought it was the river starting to boil. Here, let's go back and see that again. Let's go to the 19 minute mark. Okay, watch. Once it's about done erupting, watch it spread. You see right here how the black steam slash smoke is coming up? Watch it spread. You see? Look, I'll follow that with, with my cursor. It spreads, it spreads, and then look right here in this crack right here. That is a crack in the ground. And that is smoking. And then look over here. This starts to smoke as well. And there are some other cracks behind this geyser as well. Split cone geyser. Look at that. The whole area is smoking. The wind's blowing this way. So it, it's not like the hot water landed over here and, and it's doing this because of the hot water. This is actually coming from the ground. Now, I bet this has happened before in the past years. But I've the hydrothermal activity is starting to get a little concerning. It is definitely increasing. And look at that right there. And, you know, these people, I don't think these people even understand or even notice that it should not be doing this. Look at this crack right here. That is a crack where the snow will not stick. That is hot. And this isn't just due to temperature and how cold it is. Because this is not normal, guys. You should not be seeing it spread all the way across after each eruption. But it does not happen after every eruption, though, just letting you know. So I will be showing some of these clips in uh, during this video and let's see see it had here it happened again let's see here's the eruption see how old faithful goes off now once it gets close to being done now see how the winds kind of going that way so nothing landed over here guys nothing landed over here so watch it spread watch it spread see follow the cursor see there it spreads right there and follow the cursor and it's spreading and it's spreading and it spreads and it spreads that shows either two things, that magma is extremely close to the surface right here, or magma is rising faster than before and heating up the hydrothermal water a lot more than usual, therefore making it steam in these areas. Because personally, I have not seen that before. I mean, I've probably seen it every once in a while, but I, like last year and the year before, I never saw this whole area steam, especially these cracks. That is something that concerns me is when you start to see the cracks smoke. Personally, I think Upper Geyser and this area right here may eventually one day turn into one huge geyser. So yeah, guys, in the following footage, keep your attention behind Split Cone Geyser and right here where Firehole River is. Thank you, guys.